It's summer and it's the perfect time to put down your long wig and fling on your short wig, girl. Yes. This video, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this look by simply buying a $20 wig that's human and just adding a few pieces in the front and voila, you're done. So if you would like to know how I achieve this look and if you want to look like this, keep watching. Hey beautiful people, so all you will need is to have your stocking cap on for this tutorial. If you want, you can put a paper towel underneath it because we will be using glue to achieve this look. I'll be adding a few pieces in the front just to add a little bit more fullness to the wig. So the wig I'll be using for this tutorial is the Doobie wig and this is called the Bowl Cut and this is in the color number one. I'll be using Bunk Collection 8 inch jet black hair to add into the front in the bang area. Okay, so this is how the wig looks out of the pack. Remember ladies, when you have a hair, sometimes when you come out the pack, it's not going to look exactly how you want it to look. You do have to play with the hair. So keep that in mind. So I do have my hair braided in two cornrows because I want my hair to lay as flat as possible. I'm gonna adjust the wig and put a place it on my head. Okay, so this is how the hair looks without me adding anything to the wig. I'm going to find a track area where I can place the um, track that I want to add. And this right here, as you can see, there's a track right there. So I'm just going to place a track exactly right there. I'm going to pin it. I'm going to find another piece section where I can add hair. So I have another piece right there. I'm going to add one more piece, but I'm going to add it at the very bottom. So I added, I added three pieces into the wig. So now I'm just going to cut it and just pin these sides out so that way you don't cut these sides by accident. You just want to focus on just the middle part. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut it and how the way I'm going to cut it is I'm just, I comb all the hair forward and I'm looking to see where the originally where that wig fell, which is right here. I'm going to cut about there, but maybe a little bit lower than so I'm going to cut about here. Don't let go. Keep holding the hair until you're completely done cutting it. What you are left to do is just clean up all of it. I'm going to clean up this side right here. I'm just going to use a razor and just... Okay, so what do, all I'm left to do is just bump the hair. So when bumping the hair, you don't want to just bump like that. No, that's not how you do it. You take section by section and bump your hair. That is what you will see the beauty of the hair. So I'm gonna pin this piece back and we're gonna take section by section and bump the hair. So just clean off the sides. That way your wig does not look like the way that you bought from the store. It looks like a hairstyle that you got done on the weekend. And all you do is just flat down the back. Take that wig look out of your wig. Okay, so your wig is now completed and this is the this is the finished look of me styling the Doobie Bowl Cut wig. This wig is 100% human. It can be curled and all I did was just add a few pieces in the front. I added one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top just to add a little bit more fullness and to make it look more less like a wig that I purchased from the store and make it look more like a hairstyle that I got done at a salon. Um, this wig cost, I think it was under $20 at www.wigtypes.com. I did purchase it with my own money and I just wanted to change and have a different look. So this is how the hair looks. I hope this video was informative as well as helpful. And if you guys have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave it down below. And I'll see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye.